How's it going guys? Dylan from Luxury Lives On and I hope everyone is doing well today. It's the evening time, I've just finished up work and now I have to get dressed again into something a little nicer because I'm going to a dinner tonight hosted by an infamous Rolls Royce collector. The dinner is going to have jazz music, live music, food and everything you could want. But most importantly, it's going to be held in the actual warehouse that he keeps his Rolls Royce collection. Now these Rolls Royces range from anything from old 1920s Rolls Royces that have been owned by royalty to brand new Rolls Royces that are long wheelbase phantoms, drop head coupes, and everything you can imagine. We're going to go check it out. I'm going to get dressed and thank God we're going to match the theme tonight because we're going to take our Rolls Royce as well. hard to take you around here because there is so much to see. I'm trying to do this in a categorical way, but I am absolutely screwing up with that. He's got a bunch of old American cars, Rolls Royces, and primarily Rolls Royces and Bentleys. Unbelievable stuff. I'm absolutely losing my mind here. Here are some limousines, guys, and it's outrageous how much room's back here. There's a whole cabinet for the uh, for the liquor. It's like soft seats, and it's a Lando Lay uh, design, as you can see, with the back seats having an opening for the passengers. A lot of long, long limousines here, Rolls Royce limousines. Yeah. As you can see, tons and tons of room in all these, and this very funky, almost gray teal interior color. And look, old school screen, hilarious. Immaculate though. And as I said, he has some modern stuff too. Here is his drop head coupe, Phantom. Along with a Phantom sedan. Wow, look at this. This has a glass spirit of ecstasy. Very custom. I mean, you can see with the pinstripe even. Look at this. It's got the oh. curtains. Oh, and it has curtains as well. This is a serious Phantom. Oh, look at the seating arrangement. Unbelievable. Still one of my favorite cars, the drop head coupe. I know it's a little more modern than most of these, but I mean, look how evil and how much presence this thing has. Looks like another Lando Lay. 
Oh my god, look at the woodwork in here. Insane. Look at this, all original. You can see the rest through it. Look at all the detail in here. I mean, look at this. Comb and mirror for your hair. God forbid, right? Tissue box. Look at this even. There's speakers on the back and they're surrounded in wood. That is hilarious. Such a squared, squared body as well. So it was $3 million in the Jesus. 80s. In the 80s, $3 million. Yeah. So I imagine with inflation now. Yeah. Okay. And over here, Nick? Gold Spirit of Ecstasy, you heard it. Over $3 million in the 80s. I think these vents are very interesting. Look how funky this car looks though. I mean, not the prettiest looking machine, but it is completely custom. Ben? Well, the green one uh, sports car, and they built them and built her a uh, sports car. So it was a four-door car, but it's built into a two-door car, but it still has a bar on the back. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> and Holy crap, this thing is unbelievable. I got a ride in this incredibly old Rolls Royce. It has a sensation like nothing I've ever driven in before. Unbelievable. I mean, just look at this thing. And he's gonna let me drive it a couple feet too, so. Ooh. Almost a British racing green. Everything is all original. 1937, made one sedan for this year. And he said you can even adjust the uh, the stiffness of the suspension by oil. You see the the hard setting there? Unbelievable. Wow. Incredible lines, huh? And now it's my turn to go to the back and be driven in a Rolls Royce like a chauffeur. Yeah. But it's very enjoyable. It's and the tour. A nice slam. With these cars. Don't forget your hat, sir. Yeah. And this is what I was telling you. You can ride hard. Yeah. This is what I like driving. For, for me, I could drive this car every day. I just got to drive a 1937 coach-built Rolls-Royce and it was unbelievable. Very easy to drive. Some things you have to consider is the braking is far from significant, so it can be quite hard to, to slow it down. Only four gears. Easy clutch. Actually, the clutch was perfect. Not too hard. Um, actually, not too soft either. And there's a nice feel to it. Very easy to drive. It's something you have to get the hang of uh, when you're driving it, but oh my God, what an experience to drive a Rolls Royce, a classic Rolls Royce at night. Unbelievable, on the bucket list for sure. Oh my God. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm losing my mind right now. That was so cool. All right, peace. What we do here is go back, 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 back.